Hi all, in this video I'll create custom test. Go to left navigator, type automatic test, click on test module, click on new button to create custom test, give name as Click on save button. Now I'll define step. As this feature is introduced in Istanbul release, so if you are working or your instance is on Istanbul version, so you will see only form and server option. These two features, service catalog and rest, is introduced in Jakarta release. Now my instance is on Kingston release, so you can see all the options. Now select test step as import snet. Here you will see inline description of the step. You will select here. Now I will add next test step. This time I will use option as form and I will select step as open a new form. Here you can define when this step should be added. And now I want to add the step after step 1 which is impose net. If you want to add this step at the beginning then you can select here. Here I will select that table as instant. Here you can set view. Now I'll select set field values step. Here I'll define caller. Now I'll take caller values from step 1, which is impersonate. It will give the society of a user which I have selected in step 1. These are input variables. In automatic testing framework, we can pass value from one step to another step with the help of input variable and output variables. Click on summon button. Next step, I'll use submit a form after set field values step. Here you can select assert type form submitted to server or form submission cancelled in browser. As of now, I'll select form submitted to server. If you don't want to use any step, then you can make it active false here. Here you can define the execution order of a step. Now I'll use step as open an existing record. These all are input variables. Now I'll use output variable which will pass data from previous step to this step. And the previous step was submit a form. When a form is submitted, then a record is generated. And here with the help of output variable, we will pass this ID of that record here in an input variable record. Select step 4 which is submit a form and select sys id of a record. Now this output variable is containing sys id of record which is generated 
after submitting a form. Here you can set the view. Then click on submit button. Now we will validate field values which we have set here. So for this add a test step. Now I'll run this test. Click on run test button. It will run the test in new window. Here you can see steps are running. Now it's on step 1. Now the form is submitted to the server. The incident record is created. Now it's opening incident. As we have selected property as take this take the execution screenshot in all the steps. So it's taking screenshot in all the steps. Now we see that there is no error. These are the test results. It has taken screenshot in all these steps. Here you can see by clicking on view. Here you can see the status. Here you can see logs. If you want to see test result, then you can click on this module. Or else, you can click on test. Select your custom test. And in related list, test result, here also you can see test result, the start time, the status, how much time it has taken. This step is used to validate state of desired field. And most of the time we can use this step when we are validating the functionality of client script or UI policy. Here we can set field on the form like the short description should not be mandatory. Here we are checking the state or the field. I have not added this step. Now I will add another step which is run server side script. In this function 
I'll write course this function will check is there any business rule written on incident table where the script contains current dot update for the testing purpose I have created a business rule on before business rule on incident table which contains current dot update in a script now this step is added click on run test button it will start a new test runner Now we have seen that it has thrown an error in step 7 because it finds a business rule which contains current dot update. So it has stopped execution of function. Now we will see test result. As it has thrown an error, that's why the status is failure here, and also set the message as br contains current dot update function. That's how we can use run server side script steps. In this example, I have tested business rule. Similar way, you can test script include. And that's how you can find out if any business rule before business rule containing current dot updates in a script thank you so much for watching this video